Morning guys. I am going to try this again. I really overheated yesterday. We just milked and this is our little mama that I just milked. We only milk one goat right now and she gives us a gallon a day. We, get, we keep one quart for ourselves and then we give one quart to the cats every time we milk and, because we really need the cats. So this is where I have her grazing right now. You can see how deep it is. And what I wanted to show you was where I graze the difference between how I graze a milking animal and how I graze a dry animal. So we have a lot of grass in here, a lot of really nice tall grass, and she's just really taking her time getting to it. And that's really important when you have a milking animal. They need to be able to pick and choose and decide what they want to eat and go to it when they want to. And as long as it's not something that's going to make them sick, that's what you should do. So this is the next spot I'm going to put her when she's finally done with that one is, oh my gosh, it smells like there's something dead out here. This is the next spot. You can see how deep that is. And look right here. This is where, oh my gosh, there really smells like something dead out here. I wonder if our neighbors had a cow die. I'm going to take you over to one of our dry goats now and show you what I will have her, her eat, what she's on, and the level that I'm going to make her eat down to. Now, the reason is they have different nutritional needs. If you want a goat to, or any animal to be able to make a lot of milk, they need variety, they need quantity, and they need quality. My dry goats don't have those nutritional needs. I'm not starving them, but I am forcing them to eat things down so that they are well mowed so this is Jasmine, and you can see how tall her grass is. This is her spot, and some spots she ate down really good so far, and some spots she still has to go, but you can see she has plenty of grass that can still be eaten all through here, but it's nothing compared to what I'm giving our one goat that is in milk. Our one goat that is in milk is eating very well. We never let her get hungry. And the feed that we give her is mixed. We give her alfalfa pellets, black oil sunflower seeds, um, beet pulp pellets, and sweet feed. And we mix it so that she's not getting too much grain and it's not pushing too much output. Genetics makes a huge difference in the flavor of the milk, but after genetics, the feed makes a difference. So you can see, she, we use uh, the dry goats as mowers to keep the grass down. And if they're in milk, we keep them out on the best pasture because Otherwise, they'd be getting fat. There's a lot of calories that go into milk production, and if we had our goats, our dry goats, out on that lush of pasture, they'd just be getting fat. So that's how we do it. I've already added my culture to the milk this morning, so we're just going to turn this into yogurt. Morning, girls. So I'm just going to leave this out on the table and let it do its thing and we're going to get started on the day and hopefully that was helpful and I will try really hard to be filming in the morning so I'm not frying my phone anymore so you can actually see the live show and thanks for popping in. We'll talk to you later.